jina langu msarafi na robi mwenzangu wa ishara ni lensa odingo na vile vile mtazamaji unaweza kutupata mbashara pale facebook youtube na twitter at kbc channel 1 na vile vile at sarafin underscore robi Tukianza ni kwa naibu rais Rigathi Gashagwa ameagiza msako dhidi ya watengenezaji pombe haramu na walanguzi wa mihadarati katika eneo la bonde la Ufa. Haya yanajiri huku onyo likitolewa kwa maafisa serikali wanaoshirikiana na wahalifu. Aidha naibu rais ameagiza leseni zote za biashara ya pombe zikaguliwe upya. Takwimu kutoka mamlaka ya kitaifa ya kukabiliana na dawa za kulevya na kada zikionyesha kwamba eneo la bonde la Ufa ndilo la pili baada ya eneo la kati ya nchi katika matumizi ya dawa za kulevya ni jambo ambalo halikupokelewa vyema na viongozi wa eneo hilo The revenue from Pombe Mukubali we dedicate that amount some to Nakada and others to the rehabilitation centers Your support and leadership will go a long way in helping us get rid of this problem that is one of the major cancers eating into our society we are not going to allow the illicit brews alcoholic drinks and drugs to exist together with our officers kwa hivyo mmoja baka aondoke Akihutubu wakati wa kongamano kuhusu vita dhidi ya unywaji pombe haramu na matumizi ya mihadarati katika eneo la bonde la Ufa, Naibu Rais Rigathi Gashagwa alitangaza msako wa dharura na akawaonya maafisa wa serikali dhidi ya kukiuka gizo hilo. We are requesting you to have a rehabilitation center in every county. Fully fledged with everything. We are asking you to consider the drug addicts mwalipie hii NHIF wa head rehabilitation. Ili kudhibiti hali hiyo, Gashagwa alitangaza hatua kadhaa za kuchukuliwa ikiwa ni pamoja na kukaguliwa upya kwa leseni za uzaji pombe. Gashagwa alikadhalika alionya dhidi ya kuibuka kwa makundi ya kiuhalifu nchini. No way we can allow that gang to come and rape our girls, to come and defile our children, to come and extort money from matatu operators. We cannot allow it.